Well, what do you think? Got any ideas? Well, I've actually discussed it a bit with Florent before, but I could never come up with any fresh or original ideas. It's probably because my idea of them is already kind of set in stone. So, I want to pick your brain for a bit and see if you can come up with some new and interesting ideas. I'm all good here, boss. Feel free to start posing whenever. A happy pose? You mean something like we were laughing together at a funny joke? Uh, would all that be able to come through with just a picture? Would we even be able to tell what they are supposed to be laughing about? Yeah, and that'd probably be a massive pain to sculpt as well. Hmm. Could one of you try striking a pose like you're talking while the other one laughs? Ugh, that actually sounds pretty hard to pull off. Forget it, let's try something else! Ah, by that, do you mean as if we were standing on a boat and looking out at the sea? Sure, let's give that a try. Whoa, you really remind Paimon of a captain and their first mate! Look over there, my dear Clementine. As you can see, every tree on that island is dripping with mora fruit. Mmm, but there's something off with the composition. This pose makes Mr. Callus look too tall next to the lady. Oh, I see what you mean. Uh, then let's swap. Well, Paimon is a fan. A statue like this would look fantastic on a boat. Wait. But uh, we can't do that. Very few people would see the statue if we were to put it on a boat. This statue is meant to be placed in the town. But then, since we're putting it in the town, the whole point of the pose would be lost. Oh, okay. We'll try to think of something else. Imposing, huh? Oh, I've got it. Let's try this. This pose! It makes me recall Spina de Rasula's glorious golden age. But isn't Clementine's pose a bit too... bold and heroic? Was she really that kind of person? If we were to stick with this pose, maybe people would wonder if she was actually the real boss behind the scenes. Well, tabloids did indeed speculate as much back in the day, but the Spina pulled a few strings and made both the report and the journalist uh, disappear. Oh, Paimon was just kidding! Please don't make Paimon disappear. <laughs> what Florent meant was that we asked the journalist to choose a new alias. You're right, though, that this may not accurately represent the image of her in our hearts. Let's try to come up with something else. We still got a lot of reference shots out of the session, and each of them can be considered to be a souvenir in their own right. Let's just keep the ideas we tried as backups. Man, if I knew I was going to do a photo shoot with the Traveler, I would have prepared a lot of outfits and props ahead of time. <laughs> oh, outfits! Ugh, oh, that's the errand I forgot back in the city. Do either of you still remember that girl? The girl I went to see with you two. Her name is Adele. Oh, Paimon remembers her. She was the one that we met while investigating Mr. Callus's case, right? Yes, that's exactly who I'm talking about. So, after the case, she was finally willing to talk to me. And she told me that she wanted to join the Spina, too. I said that it's fine, but young children are not allowed to join the Spina. She will just have to wait a few years, and then we'll welcome her with open arms. Since she's still a child, though, she thought I was just trying to let her down gently. 
But how could I get her to believe that I meant what I said? In the end, I came up with an idea. I'd have a Spina uniform made and give it to her as a gift. But I got so busy and distracted in the city that I forgot to pick the uniform up. Uh, so I did forget something important after all. Don't worry, boss. I can send someone to pick it up right away. On the matter of the statue, we should still come up with a few more ideas for the design. I'll have to trouble you to source some for me. We could have just done that from the start. Mm, yeah, you're right. They'll have some value as souvenirs at least. <laughs> Navia! Florent, guess who's back? Huh? But aren't you supposed to... Oh, well, if it isn't Coulter. Back already from the Fortress of Meripede? <laughs> That's right. I finally finished serving my time. Gotta say, it turns out I was a lot tougher than I thought. After I got out, I immediately made a beeline back to Poisson. You'd say that familiar, briny smell became a primal call, urging me to forget everything else and just come back home. You wouldn't believe how much I've missed Melissa's grilled fish. I dreamed about it every time I had to get a welfare meal down there underneath the sea. It's good to have you back, Coulter. You look as well as ever. And this guy is... Ah, let me introduce you. This is Coulter. Another of Spina di Rosula's members. He was found guilty and sentenced to the Fortress of Meripede some time ago. But, looking at it now, it was probably another one of Marcel's plots while he worked at the Confrerie of Cabriere. Wait, wait, Mr. Marcel? What do you mean? He was involved in some sort of plot? Have you not heard anything at all about the water from the Primordial Sea case? Well, I know that Fontaine got flooded, but then the water levels miraculously receded. I thought that was all there was to it and didn't care to ask for any more details. Do you mean Mr. Marcel was somehow involved with all that? Oh, looks like we'll have to explain everything from the top. That case... Uh, a lot of things have happened in Poisson since then. First things first, let me introduce you to these two. They're my most trusted partners and they've been with me through thick and thin. Now you could call them Spina di Rosula's VIP helpers. Oh, nice to meet you. I don't recall Navia ever generously complimenting anyone like that before, so you must be pretty amazing to get that from her. <laughs> yeah, we are indeed pretty amazing, but we've been cool since before we even met her. Humble again as always, I see. Even when I was totally sincere with my praise. Nice, nice. Spina di Rosula always seems to attract great people. Oh, that reminds me. Where are Malus and Silver? Aren't they always by your side? Um, about that. Coulter, a lot of things happened while you were gone. As you can see, even Poisson isn't quite the same as how it was before you left. They lost their lives, keeping me safe during the Flood. What did you say? This isn't some kind of morbid welcome home prank, right? You're just scaring me on purpose because I don't know anything about what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. <laughs> they weren't the only people we lost, either. Many others, including Melissa, also lost their lives in the disaster. Luce and Melissa... dead. They're just... gone? Luce... I was planning to give him a surprise gift once I ran into him again in town. I can't believe it. Uh, hey! Keep it together! Malus and Coulter were friends for many years, and even served on many missions together during the early days of the Spina. I can understand how he feels. Oh, let's sit down somewhere. 
so I can tell you everything that has happened while you were gone. Fair warning, there was a lot. I... okay. <laughs>